Hi, this is a workshop that I'm going to use to teach you how to create a manga downloader. So, the first thing you have to make sure is that you have Python installed, which is a programming language that we're going to be using to download the manga episodes. And if you don't have Python installed, you can go ahead to python.org and click on download. And you can download 3.5 or 2.7. If you already have Python installed, don't worry, you can use it. You can check if you have it installed by typing Python on your terminal or command line on Windows. And you also need pip, which is a package installer for Python. You can check by typing pip. If you don't have pipe or pip installed, you can go ahead and install it manually. Just in Mac and Windows can be can be done easily by reinstalling Python and following the instructions. And in the end, check the checkbox that says, I also want to install pip in my computer. <coughs> okay, so next thing we're going to do is determine what manga provider I'm going to use. So I have Manga Reader, Manga Fox, and Manga Panda, which in my opinion is a clone of Manga Reader. So uh, if we're going to do web crawling, if you don't know what web crawling means, you can Google that up. Um, but basically means that you're going to take a website, you're going to download man, uh, you're going to download the complete source code in HTML code. <coughs> you're going to make sense of the data that's in here. And you can use it to store it in a variable or a collection. You can do something with that. What I'm going to do is I'm going to open up a URL with a manga name, an episode, and I'm going to download the entire episode. So as you can see here, this episode consists of 21 pages. And if you click on inspect, you see this page is an, is an image with an, with a name of IMG. And it has a URL that we're going to use this URL and a library called requests to download this image locally in the computer, but not just one image, but all the images that are part of the episode. So you can analyze what you want. Let's say I want to only access this IMG ID with an ID of IMG. You can do this with a with a library called beautiful soup. You also need to have the following packages installed on the with the Python installer packages. One of them is called beautiful soup four. <coughs> Mm, let's check. You can go ahead and install it. Okay, so the command is pip install beautiful sub4. You need to go to the terminal and type pip install beautiful soup <clears throat> you also need the requests library which is needed for the http request to the server to the manga servers i'm sorry i mistyped This is the official documentation for the request library. You can also install it by typing pip install requests. Let's go ahead and install them. So I already have them installed.
So if it throws errors, you need to type sudo before the pip install, which is a permission issue. You need to to execute this command of you as if you were an administrator of the machine. This will only happen if you're using Mac OS or Linux. You type your password, hit enter, and now you have it installed successfully. So it's demo time, okay? So I want to download this chapter I'm reading here, the Naruto 699, which is the second to last one the, before the 700 episode. So we, <coughs> this is what what we're going to build. Let's open up the navigator. Okay. We execute a Python script that we're going to build ourselves. It's called manga.py. And the first parameter is the name of the episode. And the second one is the episode number 699. And you see, it created an, a, di a directory, and the subdirectory, which the is the folder, the man is the folder called manga, the name of the series, the episode, and you see how it's filling up with the the images or the pages. You can open them, explore them. And that's what we're going to build in this series. It's not too difficult, you also need a code editor. So why am I choosing Manga Reader? We can also choose Manga Panda because it's just a clone, it's the same thing. And we're not going to use Manga Fox because the structure is a little bit weird. And you see it's divided in chapters. So if we don't know the specific chapter, it's not going to work. It's just easier to type the name of the series and the episode. You also see how it adds more than one, point one. It also has an idea of image. If somehow we manage to type, to write an algorithm that can download a URL like this, it's, it's going to be exactly the same to download the image as it's going to be the same for this because it has an idea of image, it's rather easy. The difficult part would, will be to figure out an algorithm for the volumes and the, this dot one. So we're going to get rid of that and use manga reader instead. <coughs> 